Uh, Steve, so great to have you here. Thanks for being well, here with me. Big fan of the show. Happy to be on it. Yes, big fan of the and show. We had some big news in the NFL today. We did. So what did you think about that? I mean, the uh, perhaps a $1 billion settlement. I mean, you can't really put a dollar amount on your health and the quality of life, but the fact that there is some compensation being given to those families, that it's not just the athletes that it's affecting, it's their families, it's, it's their friends. And uh, it, I, I'm glad to see it because, you know, I've been blessed enough to be in the National Football League for 10 years and seeing uh, what happens to these players and how their bodies get ravaged. And, and obviously the most important organ that you have in your body is your brain it, and it controls everything. And a dear friend of mine, Junior Seau, uh, took his life several years ago and they didn't say it was because of the injuries sustained uh, while playing 20 years in the National Football League. But I know the guy. I know what he was about. He never would have done that if he wasn't struggling with some issues, CTE, depression, anxiety. So I'm glad to see this happen. It's, uh, you know, the, the people that laid the foundation for what the NFL is today. And it's the, the most entertaining sport in the world to to see those people be compensated now, uh, happy to see that. Compensation sounds great, but you really need to prevent these injuries from taking place in the first place, right? I mean, what steps do you think can happen to really help players protect themselves? Well, that's one of the reasons I decided to donate my brain, uh, because I want to uh, inspire other players to do the same, because if we're going to make this game safer to play in, there's going to need some, to be some research being done to be able to figure out what the genesis is of this problem. Uh, ALS, CTE, memory loss, anxiety, depression, all these things are affecting these people, and it's happening earlier on than what it would happen if you weren't a, a football player in the National Football League. And so it's a great game. It's a very physical game. I don't think you're ever going to be able to take the physical contact out of the out of football and that's what people like the, it, it's entertaining to mm -hmm. see uh, these fantastic athletes you know tackling each other and you know the sad reality of it is you're not going to be able to take concussions completely out of the game but Roger Goodell the NFL commissioner is making the National Football League a safer place to play but it's one step at a time and I think the more research that we can do to figure out what causes these ailments later on in life, I think that the safer this game will be for generations to come. So you said Goodell is doing something and that he's in the right direction. What would be your number one message to him, though, right now? Um, you know, what if it was your son, I think? Mm. Because I'm a father. I've, I've got a son. I've got three daughters. And um, it, it is a business. But at the same time, the commodities aren't commodities. They're humans. And, uh, and he knows that. And I think he's putting great effort forth to be able to make this game safer, but uh, it's a very large task to undertake. So great to have you on this topic, you know, and, and sort of moving forward in this and the potential settlement of a billion dollars. Thank you, Steve Weatherford. I, I got to take a look at this ring, though. We got it in the house. We got to get a shot of that later. I had to bring it in. <laughs> had to, ladies like it. All right.